I cannot believe what I'm reading. Maybe I can come and see you and have a date. What are you talking about a date? You're a kid. You are nine years old. You shine every little light. It's me Hi guys, it's Minai's mum here. I don't really watch Minai's YouTube channel because I kind of leave it up to her. But the video that she posted on there, the one about her breaking her school dress code, I was shocked, like seriously. One of my friends were like, oh, guess what? My daughter watches Minai's YouTube channel. Have you seen this video? I was like, what video are you talking about? And she was like, you need to go and watch it because Minai actually went to school dressed inappropriately. And guys, when I saw that video, I could not believe it. Like, if you haven't seen that video, I'm going to link it right up here for you to understand why I'm doing this video. Because if she's going to go to school dressed like that, like if she can do that behind my back, I'm starting to think, what is she getting up to? So, I was kind of thinking to myself, I don't really check my nice a phone or her computer and things like that. So, I really don't know what my nice getting up to. And what if she's talking to boys? on her social media what if she's talking to boys on their tiktok account roblox because when she's at home she kind of does her own thing you know reading a book on her phone a lot recently and i have no idea what she's talking about on her phone she's not in oh she's gone off to go and do some extra maths and english lessons i'm gonna go in her room have a little ramage around like right, guys i know mina is a good girl and all like she's actually quite a good girl but imagine if she's actually talking to boys and i have no idea what if she's there texting people on her phone and, you know, interacting with people on YouTube and I have no idea because I'm trusting her like that? Psh, I just need to make sure that I'm keeping an eye on her because, let's be real, some nine-year-olds do tend to sometimes start talking to boys, especially nowadays that all kids have, like, mobile phones. They've got, you know, the internet. They can easily, easily meet people online. I'm not even asking, like, Minai, do you have a crush on anyone? Because I've not been thinking that far. Like, what if she's got a crush and, you know, her and her friends are secretly having talks or texting each other about this and I have no idea? Uh, I definitely need to go for her phone. So, I think what I can do, guys, if you want to see this video, I might catfish Minai. I might pretend to be, I don't know, her best friends and text her to find out what she's really getting up to. I think that's a good idea. Instead of me just going through her phone, because you know, you kids can be sneaky and start deleting stuff. She could be texting a boy and talking to a boy and just deleted all the messages and I would never know. But if I catfish her, I could get some information from her. I think I'm gonna do that. Guys, if you want to see me catfishing and I, like this video. If she's talking to boys, on social media or texting boys, she's going to be in a lot of trouble. She's only nine years old. Imagine, like, my nine-year-old daughter having a boyfriend. <laughs> no. Not in this house. Not in this house. No way. She's way too young to be even talking to boys. Like, to let alone be having a boyfriend at the age of nine. No way. Nope. It's not going to happen. And if people start commenting, oh, Minai's mum is so overprotective and she's so out of order for, you know, going through Minai stuff. Guys, did you see her breaking the school dress code video? She said she wanted to look cute to school that day. Like, why are you caring about looking cute for school? You're supposed to be going to school just to be learning. Unless you're trying to impress someone. See if she's hiding anything under there because when I was a kid, I used to hide a lot of things under my pillow or under my bed oh my god what is this why would she have this goodness let's see if she's hiding a thing in her book okay nothing there this one judy moody she hiding nothing all right so she's not hiding anything underneath her pillow why would she have this on her bed? Goodness, how weird. Let me just put everything back because I don't want her to suspect anything when she comes back. Let me hide that. 
Her diary. Where did she keep her diary? Her diary. I know she's got a diary. Let's see. This is where. Watch this. Let me have a look, guys. See if I can find her diary. Oops. I'm out. I'm just going to have a quick look through to see if there's any clues to see what she's getting up to, guys. Oh, her diary's not here. Where is my nice diary? The last time I tried to read her diary in one of her videos, I tried to get her back because she had been pranking me. So I did a pause challenge on her. If you haven't seen that video, I'll, put, I'll just link that one up as well. Go and have a look. Let's see what's in here. Yeah, she has a diary here. Let's see. Believe in magic, okay? Really? Oh, guys, this is my nice diary. Should I read it? Diary, private, not even my BFF can see this. It's private. By the night, I am not joking, so don't look. Oh my gosh, guys, she's actually got a warning in her diary. Not even her BFF can read the diary. So she definitely wouldn't want me to read the diary because I'm her mom. So tempted to read this diary, guys. So, so tempted to read it. I'm not going to read it. I am. I'm not. Oh, what should I do, guys? Should I read her diary? No, I don't think I'm going to read her diary. That's just too much. I'm not going to read it. She's so lucky that I feel bad. Like, if I was nine years old and my mum read my diary, I would not be happy. Hold on. I wasn't even allowed the diary at her age. Like, I was not allowed the diary. I couldn't even lock my own bedroom door in my house. Get out right, right here, man. Let me put that back. Let's see this. Her kind of laptop. For her to use to do work, but... So let's see if I can get some clues off this. Let me turn this on. Where's the, why did you turn it on? Turn. Where is the on button for this? Oh, uh huh. Ah. Uh, swipe up to unlock. Ooh, I'm ready. I can't wait to see what's on here. Guys, let's do it. Ah. Uh, the password oh no what? why has she got a password on it why has she got a password on her laptop what could she have as a password let me try her name i might be lucky and i might be able to get into this i need to hurry before she gets home she's gonna be home by two o'clock Twice now, I don't want to lock it. I don't want it to suspect anything, so I'm just gonna leave it. Ugh, what else can I have a look? Mm, let's have a look at these. How much rubbish? Oh. Hold on, what's this? What is this? The 23rd of July 2019. What? Hold up, what is all this? Love heart. Guys, I think I found something. This was the last day of school. Um, to Mimi, I went. 
I want to tell you that I will miss you what? when you are on school holiday. Now that school is not even spelled right. I really like playing win with you in the what kind of handwriting is this like seriously play playground miss you when you are on school holiday you are really pretty and cute <gasps> someone's written her letter like that she's pretty and she's cute like, is this the reason why she went to school dressed like that this does not seem like a girl to me come on what girl be saying that she thinks that she's pretty and she's cute i cannot believe what i'm reading maybe i can come and see you and have a date what are you talking about a date you're a kid you are nine years old nine eight or nine you're talking about seeing someone and going on a date look right there is this what she's getting up to if this kid is like putting hearts and stuff two hearts no i am getting hot like seriously i can't because i'm going to find out what's going on who this person is this jesse because i definitely think that's a boy i don't care if it's a unisex name but no girl's going to be saying oh you look so cute and i miss you and i want to see you in the summer holidays go on a date no go on a date with who are you mad are you crazy like asking a nine-year-old to go on a date with you for what you can't even afford to get on a bus. Like, that's why in England, kids get to go on a bus for free. Because you can't, have, what do you have to be going on a date? What money do you have to be taking someone on a date about you want to go on a date with Minai? This right here, I'm keeping as evidence. Why would she hide it in here? Like, she had all of this on top of the letter. It's like she's trying to hide something. Nah, this is not even funny. If there's nothing to hide, why did she not mention this letter to me? Like, I, I'm actually shocked. I can't believe it. Was she planning on sneaking out? Is that what she was gonna do? I need to find out what's going on. And then she goes to school dressed up like that. Nah. And this person obviously goes to her school because they're like, oh, since you're on summer holiday, I'm gonna miss you. You're not gonna miss my face, actually. I'm actually quite mad. I'm gonna pretend that I don't know anything and I'm gonna catfish her. So if you wanna see me catfishing her, find out what happens in that video, make sure to subscribe, like this video so you know you want me to catfish her just in case YouTube disables these comments, okay? Get it as many likes as possible. Maybe, I don't know, like a thousand likes or something. And if it gets a thousand likes, then I definitely know you want to see me catfishing her to find out who this Jessie person is. Now I'm thinking that my nine-year-old daughter has a boyfriend. Nah, that's crazy. No way. What is Minai hiding? What if that is her boyfriend and she's like, they're trying to arrange to meet up in their summer holidays and go on a date? Ha! <laughs> no way. Mm-mm. No way is that going to happen. Not in this house. Not at that age. No way, guys. So I'm just going to end this video now. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so you can find out what happens when I catfish her. Bye-bye.